You look very lost and quite beautiful. <laughs> I'm not lost, but oh, thank you. But you are beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> What's your name? Hello and welcome to another episode of Fluid Socials. Day in the life of a normal person who likes to go up and talk to new people in the daytime. Excuse me. I just wanted to say you look beautiful oh, today. Thank you. So you're about to ask me for directions. No. Not me, I'm lost. Where are you from? Um, not far, but I, I didn't oh, need to get off the station to go to, to, go to work. <laughs> you're going to work? But you're from London? No, no. Right, okay, that explains why uh, you, you, you don't know where you are. You're going to, I'm confused. You're going to work in London. Yes. But you don't know where you are, but you work here. It's a new job. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. You're a marketing manager. Why are you freaked out? My intuition. Yes, your intuition. I'm really? So late. I You're don't late. know you know where. Tell me. It's near TK Maxx. What are you looking for? My your office, office, right. So you're asking me where is TK Maxx? Yes. There is one. I think it's just down there on the left. Okay. Because I just walked past the TK Maxx oh, and okay. I think I came from over there. <laughs> I'm not it's lost. I actually, I, I actually do know this. It is the blind leading the blind. Um, okay. What's your name? Oh, I that again. It's a very traditional, old-fashioned English name. Hello, I'm Sam. Sam. And a firm handshake. You are ready for the job. Um, let, let, let me uh, not keep you here, but I, I would love to send you a message on WhatsApp and, and take you for a drink one day, if, if you're up for it. And if not, that's fine too. But it I'm... depends whether or not you're right about TK Maxx. It all lies on that. <laughs> Wait, come here, because I think you can actually see. Okay. No, I'll find it on maps quickly, but you, you do this. Whether or not I answer depends whether or not it's No, that, that's actually fair enough. I appreciate and understand. Yeah, I'm right. You're right? Yeah. We'll see. Oh, I didn't save it. That's my bad. It's just an anonymous number in there. Okay, well... Okay, see you later, Jude. Yeah, not bad. How are you? Uh, hold on, we'll fine. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, not bad. I just wanted to say you look beautiful. Thank you. Are you on the phone wait. to your boyfriend? Yeah, I'm just waiting for him. Alright, cool. Take care. Take care. Excuse me, hello. You're you're very beautiful. Huh? Uh, I wanted to meet you briefly. Where are you guys going? Have you booked a hotel in London? No, we're going home. Oh, okay. Where have you been on holiday? No, for work meetings. Right. That requires a suitcase. Yes, it does. Interesting. Very serious work meeting. We've been here for two days. Okay, cool. Yeah. But you're not originally from London? No, we're from Lancaster area. Oh, okay. Has it been, uh, it's been good. You guys have had a bit of a nicer weather. It's now yeah, going to be raining. It's been sunny, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you, uh, are you leaving today? Getting the train away back to Manchester, never to return. A minivan. A minivan. Yeah, picked up. Yeah. A big work. Is it like a work thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Ah, there's two other people on the bus. There's a car. You're not going to fit on. No, we are. We are. Well, that's 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 really that's really. Well, listen. I don't I don't want to keep you. You look like you're. You're not travelling light, are you? No, we're not. Oh my God, we're like donkeys. I know. Are you single? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm asking you about her. I'm looking for verification. I was joking. No, I'm no. That that. Yeah, yeah, he's good. He's a nice guy. Yeah, I've never actually met him. Really? What are you doing? Introduce him. We're workmates. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Monday. Yeah. One day. Okay, well, um, enjoy and have a nice day. Yeah, Get nice home day safely. Too. Take care. Excuse me. Hi. You look very lost and quite beautiful. <laughs> I'm not lost, but oh, thank you. But you are beautiful. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. What's your name? Uh, Hannah. Hannah, I'm Sam. Nice to meet you. Are you a London girl? Uh, no, well, very recently. So, oh, you've yeah, just, just moved, moved for a master's, yeah. From uh, the south? Uh, no, from up north. <laughs> I don't believe you. You haven't got the the typical uh, coarse it's, accent. It's worn off a little bit. Oh, right. That's what happens when you spend a little bit of time in the south. And yeah, you start well, speaking. with undergrad, I was with a lot of southerners, so yeah. 
<laughs> so, you, so you learned quickly, you adopted the accent? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. I'm and flattered, but I have a boyfriend. Really? Yes. <laughs> Is she nice? But lovely to speak to you. Is your boyfriend nice? <laughs> yes. He's a good man. Right, well. But have a good day. No, you have a good day. Thank you. Uh, I, hope he, I hope he's good to you. <laughs> Thank Take you. care and bye. I ran out of things to say. Good morning, how are you? Very well, how are you? Very well, thank you. We're looking for two smoothies. Do you have them here? We have ice drinks. You have ice drinks? No. No smoothies? No fruit smoothies? No. Where's the closest um, hot to manger that has smoothies? Just where is the liberty? They don't have it. They don't have smoothies? No. They do smoothies? Yeah, they, they do them, but they say their blenders are broken. Okay, then our bar is straight. Doesn't, doesn't have one. Their blenders are broken as well. Excuse me. Hello. Sorry to uh, uh, stop you halfway across the road. I just thought you were beautiful. Oh, thank I you. I wanted to meet you. Oh, I'm married. You're married? Yeah, thank you. Is your husband a, a nice man? He's, yeah, he's, he's treating you well. Guy. Yeah. Well, I can't compete with that, um, but I wish I could. <laughs> thank you. You're beautiful. Have a lovely day. This guy's a walking friend zone. Women don't like men that are nice to them. Women only like heads and assholes. Never compliment a woman. She'll think you're weak. You need to be more of a bad boy. Girls like men in leather jackets. This guy's a beta. Bad boys, bad boys, what you wanna do? What you wanna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you wanna do? What you wanna do when they come for you? Does this Pretamonje have smoothies? No. Where's the closest one? Um, do you, if you keep walking down to where Angus Steakhouse is and then you just turn this way there's another prep there on the corner. Do they have a smoothie? Oh, well, it's a big one. The search continues. Thank you everyone for your kind help today. Bad boys, bad boys, what you wanna do? What you wanna do when they come for you? Never apologise to a woman for interrupting her or you'll look weak. Wear sunglasses to look max yourself and become a chad. There's no one. I can't. I've got nothing. I ain't got no. I just got love. One love. One love. Excuse me. Hi. You just walked past me, and I wanted to say you look very beautiful today. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. The Russian. No. Where are you from? Greek. Greek. Kalispera. Kalispera. I'm Sam. What's your name? Marina. Nice to meet you. Marina. Yeah. From Athens. Yeah. But I'm in the rest for work. For work? Yeah. Can I take your number before you go to work and send you a message? Yeah. And if you respond, that's great. And if you don't want to, that's Thank okay too. Okay. Yeah. I accept. I don't use it, but um, what you can do is verify that I'm a normal human being <laughs> on Instagram. And then uh, we can go from there. It was lovely to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. I stayed in Bodrum for, for a long time, so I had a lot of time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Excuse me. I just... Hi. I just caught your eyes for like two seconds and, and they're, they're nice eyes, so I, I wanted to meet you. What's your name? Caitlin. Caitlin? Yeah. English? Australian. Australian? Yeah. Half Aussie, half English. That's a good combination. Combination. But you live in England? Yes. Okay. Because you were sick of uh, the lockdowns in Sydney? No, I've actually been here five years. Right. So I'm seasoned. Okay. You're, you're a seasoned veteran seasoned of, the, vet, of yeah. the London yeah. the London area. And what are you, what are you up to today, Caitlin? Uh, I'm shopping for a housemate's apprentice. So. This is the perfect place yeah. to find things that she's, it's a she, I'm assuming. No, yes. She yeah. likes quirky things. So I need to think like her, so... You're not an artist, then? No, no, far from it. You're I'm not an artistic person. Really? No creative, low on the I'm creative? I'm creative, but I don't have the skills to back me up, so. That's interesting. I've never heard that. I'm not no. uh, creative, but not artistic. No. So you're, ma you're managing some financial thing, are you? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I guess you could say that. <laughs> that's a very broad, <laughs> it's a very broad guess, right, this one? Yeah, definitely. Uh, what was your name, sorry, I didn't grab it. Sam. Sam. You're, you're Caitlin? Yes. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from just northeast of London. Okay. Um, a place called Suffolk. I don't yeah. know if you've heard of it. Mostly countryside. 
sheep and cows, winding roads, and drunk people. Nice. Okay. So, I think I've been there. It's, it's, why have you been there? Uh, this is interesting. I used to date someone that lived up there. So. Okay. How was he? Uh, pretty nice. Yeah? Yeah, pretty pleasant. Uh, his parents were farmers. So. Most people there, that's like 50% of the population of Suffolk are farmers yes. or landowners. So it makes sense, really. Did you visit his farm? No, I didn't have, no, I wasn't allowed to. I was only there for a weekend. It's so. not fair. No, no horses, no. You didn't even get no a trip to see the, uh, the farm animals. Quite devastated, actually. You should be. I, I, I didn't get the full experience. Caitlin, I, I'm going to give you many more opportunities to come and visit farms in <laughs> Suffolk. And you'll be most welcome to come and see it's very nice. all manner of farm nice. animals, all manner of farm animals in Suffolk. There's more than that as well. There's nice, uh, nice pubs, very old buildings, interesting yeah. things. Yeah, I, I, I saw a bit. It's, it's a nice place. I enjoyed it. It's very people are very lovely. People are nice, and yeah. uh, you can see the stars, unlike uh, no, London. No, you can. You can. I think London, you do miss that. I think. Yeah, we, we, we miss a lot of, uh, just, we miss all of nature in London. Like, even the parks, it's like, it's kind of natural, but it's very much a human kind of nature, you know? Yeah. What part of Oz are you from, by the way? Uh, Perth, so it's the west side. The west side? By the sea, right? Yes, yes. We're all very coastal huggers, so... You're what? A coastal huggers. Coastal huggers. Yes. This is an Aussie term, I think. Is it? Yeah. We have tree huggers over here. We have them too. Okay. They're but hippies. coastal they're huggers hippies. are the ones that look, can't stay away from the, the beach. Well, if you live in Australia, I think there's only... Why not? I don't think there's any point living in the, in the middle. It's basically a desert. Yeah, well, I've, I've got some friends from Melbourne and Sydney. Oh, nice. And they both think that their part is better. They, yes, there's a constant battle between the two. Yeah, they seem to be at war. Melbourneers uh, like, like to think that they're more cultured. Their coffee is better and so is their fish. So are their drugs, apparently. Their drugs, yes. Yeah. So there's a lot of it there. I know. So are Sydney, there's a lot of coke there. I've, I've never met a casual crystal meth user until no, I met no, people we from... Yeah, we, don't know. we do a crystal meth inside, but it's not... <laughs> Not in regular use. Well, it's, it circulates, doesn't it? It definitely does. Australia does have a meth problem. Yeah, I've heard, well, I've heard that Melbourne does. I was, I was dating a girl from Melbourne. She was seemed quite normal and quite nice. Seemed. Seemed. <laughs> but she sort of dropped that she'd been using meth as if it were something completely that's normal. That's something you just drop, I don't think. I don't think that's a, well, it a didn't, casual... It didn't go on. That was the last date we had together. I, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. I don't think that's something you No. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, right? Because that's... that's <laughs> a... bit of I hear London is... Swimming, it's literally in the town. It's casual. It's very, it's, it's very casually very used in London. I used to work for a property. I thought you were gonna just gonna say I used to do a load of it. No, I'm actually quite good. Are you? I, yeah, I don't really. On the surface, I think there's uh, there's more going on under the surface. Well, you know, I can't really give too much away. Oh, use my imagination. Um, I have to, I have to go. Buy your gift. You have to find a good gift for your housemate. I do, I do. I have a crucial... Yeah, no, I understand. Um, um, I, I'm actually with a friend as well, so he, I think I've left him by Covent Garden Station. Such a quite far, far away. He'll figure it out. Yeah. He'll figure it out. Um, can I get your number on WhatsApp? I'm going to drop you a message, and if I'm you want to reply... I'm going to be a bit of an asshole. Go on, I tell me. I am seeing something. Okay. So Would you I'm care not. to give me just two percent more context? Like, what's the the situation? See, very, very. You like him? Yes, I do. Is He's it? A good guy. It's moving forward, and yeah. in. It is. It is. Then I respect you for being honest about it. It's better to be honest. It's much better to be honest. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Um, well, it was lovely meeting you, though. No, it was. It was. More so for me, I think. But. Um, you need a companion to help me with this. Yeah, I mean, this is this is the limits of my creativity. I have no suggestions for you. Perhaps a white uh, cactus. Um, what is that? It's a oil diffuser. 
Right. Right. Okay. So, so you I see, I'm not your man for this no, job, and clearly not no, in other ways as well. So but we'll leave it at that. It was, it was a lovely it was to meet lovely you. meeting you. Take care, darling. You have beautiful, good. beautiful eyes, really. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Sometimes this process, when you go out and you become social, and you maybe have to force it a little bit at the start, you have to become social, you have to act your way into right thinking. But a lot of the time it can seem a little bit like you're treading water or things aren't going your way. And you should kind of think about it like, you've kind of got to put in the work to earn the magic. And you never know where it's gonna happen, but you could talk to six people, um, in different environments and none of them really go anywhere but then the seventh person is someone genuinely inspiring or interesting or that you have a connection with or that just makes you feel better just by their nature they remind you of that quality that you like in people or in women and so you can't guess or you can't know when that's going to come you kind of just sometimes have to to force force yourself in push yourself in and then allow those opportunities to arise um, because you know when you have them. And when you do, it sort of reminds you of why you've been doing what you're doing, why you've been putting the work in, why this actually makes sense and why it is the best way to live your lifestyle. And I don't mean just running up to people in the streets, though that is often what you see me doing on camera because uh, it's the easiest thing to film by far, but it prepares you for the social situations in any environment that you're gonna come across. It prepares you to go into a library and say hello, to go into a cafe, to go to some event or party. This is what builds that side of you that is energetic, that is alive, that is filled with masculine energy. And so you have to sometimes force it and, and really just embrace the process at the start and you will be rewarded with amazing moments. Dear God, grant me a beautiful Brazilian girl to talk to. Amen. Yeah. Excuse me. Hi. Sorry to interrupt you. You just walked past me and I, I thought you looked really nice, so oh, I wanted to meet you. Thanks. You're welcome. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah? Yeah. You're English? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm engaged to somebody though. Is he, is he nice? Yeah, he's lovely. What's his uh, name? Thank you. Um, Dave. Okay, well... Uh, David. Okay, can't, I can't be Dave. I can't even hope ever to compete with Dave, no. but uh, have a lovely day. And you. Nice Bye, to Sarah. Talk to you. Bye, Sarah. Você vai voltar pra lá? No. Nunca. <laughs> Nunca. I'm still Tá. Faculdade? Mm -hmm. Tem uh, marido aqui? No. Ah, é um lugar muito difícil. Você quase nunca tem tempo. É. E aí os que você acha meio sketchy. É também porque pessoas em inglês têm dificuldade falando com meninas. É então. é tá. Obrigado. Excuse me. Hi. I just thought you were beautiful. I wanted to say hi. Thank you. Hello. Are you with you with your family? I'm here with my family. Is this your lovely mother? No. Sister? Aunt. Your aunt. Okay. Is this your lovely mother? Yes. Hello, your daughter's beautiful. I know. Uh, so do I. Where are you from, by the way? Slovakia. Slovakia. Are you in London for a long time? I live here, yes. I know you're with your family and you're Sorry. Russian. Could I take your number on WhatsApp and send you a message? Sorry. Just That's okay. Don't give out my no, I understand friends. completely. Have a lovely day. Take care. Welcome to the Marble Arch Mound, London's latest attraction. From the top of the mound, you can see a spectacular view of the second floor of some buildings and of the tops of some trees before Hyde Park. Come on in and see what the newest attraction has to offer. Um, yeah, what's spectacular that you can see from the top? Whatever you want to see, whatever you can see. I'm looking at some views of the second floor of some buildings and the midsection of some trees. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can see that. We have uh, Julie Andrews is going to uh, do a performance from the top of the mound for us. <laughs> you got to do it now. You guys have your very own uh, singer. Thank you, guys. You're I'm well. actually going to give you a microphone. Do you want one? Yeah, you can go on. Yes. Get a thing. 
this opportunity doesn't come around every day. Just say yes. Just say yes. Roll with it. See where it goes. Do you actually have a microphone? No, I don't have She's got a lovely voice. She could be booming it out from the top. I could go TikTok viral. You could go TikTok viral. You could go TikTok viral. The whole place could go TikTok viral. That's cool. On your mum's side, right? Your mum's Albanian and your dad's English. The other way around. They're both Albanian. Oh. <laughs> You've got a London accent, my lady. Yeah, I was born and raised here. Well, that's why then. <laughs> We're going to go downstairs and look at the House of Mirrors. The House of Mirrors? Yeah. Have you been? No. Jesus, B. Come on, man. Get lost in you, B. Like when you guys go out. Not with everyone. Yeah, so special that I want to take your number and take you for a drink. So we'll do this subtle thing where we make it look like, uh, like I'm showing you pictures of my new dog. Look at my new puppy, B. Isn't he cute? Do you want to take a closer look? Aww. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that is, he's having puppies. He's having puppies. <laughs> Take your puppies back. Ah, <laughs> uh, B. Well, it's really nice to meet you. You've got a cool energy. You've got a cool energy. Mm. I'd like to think so. Yeah, we'll hang out. See you later, sweet B. Take care. Bye. Enjoy the light. Thank you, thank you. Hi guys, so it's got to 5.30, the magic hour. It's ramen o'clock for Sam and Luis. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, the idea with these is not to show you that I'm doing anything good. Half the time, at least, I'm not doing anything good. I'm just doing what I need to do and doing what I know is gonna make me feel better and focusing on the beautiful opportunities. And always, when you have a day where you get started and you make the most of it and you just give it everything and take a few risks, you always feel at the end of that day like you've earned, you've earned the evening, you've earned the lifestyle that you want. And more than that, you are constantly preparing yourself for beauty. You're constantly preparing yourself to appreciate beauty. You're constantly topping up that 1% of your life to, to keep improving and keep searching for, for beauty and for goodness. And more than that still, you're creating that in the lives of other people. You're creating that moment in a, in a woman's day where she maybe reframes the way she sees men. She always thought that a guy coming and talking to her in the street or out and about would be something purely negative and something that she would recoil from and talk to her friends about how horrible it was. And instead, you've given her a sense that maybe that perspective was misguided and that actually some men are respectful and good and strong and do what they need to do in a way that works for her as well. So it's bigger than getting numbers. It's bigger than doing cold approach. This is about reframing the way that men and women communicate because the state of the world is not moving in a good direction where Tinder becomes the norm and human interaction becomes something strange. That's an ugly future in my opinion. And I think most of you agree with that. So. The six week course is happening on the 1st of November. We're finishing up the last week of uh, the first course, but the next one starts on the 1st of November and goes into early mid December. If any of you guys are interested in sorting your life out, in sorting your social life, in meeting the types of girls that you wanna meet and expressing yourself with confidence, jump on the phone with me. Even if you just wanna have a chat about your situation, I don't charge for these calls, they're completely free. So just get in touch with me, we can talk and we can start to fix your, your social life and your dating life. Thanks for the support guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sam, out.